Hey guys, this is Gatsby with Tape, and today I'm looking at the Maritime Pack. Yes, I did a little video a few days ago where I built a not very good aircraft carrier and tried to land on it, but that wasn't very good because I maybe misunderstood a lot of the parts and just thrown something together, but I thought I'd take a proper look at the mod because I do really like it and we're probably adding it to Collaborative Warfare, so it kind of made sense. So the first thing I kind of thought I'd look at is just the normal sort of boats because there's actually two things you can download, which I have both of right here. The links will be in the description. Um, one is the submarine pack, one is the maritime pack. Uh, the submarine pack obviously includes submarine stuff, and the maritime pack includes boats. Uh, but yeah, anyway, so just let's just take a quick look. So we have these kind of boat looking parts. Uh, so yeah, let's just grab ourselves a little bit of hull and just slowly build up a ship. Uh, so we've got a hull, I think there's also fuel tanks that look like hull. Yeah, there we go, liquid fuel, because it provides some propeller engines you can use. So you can just kind of quite easily throw together a boat and you're probably going to want some sort of superstructure. Uh, you're going to want some sort of bridge on here so we'll throw that on there and then it obviously has all the parts like the bow and the stern just got to remember which one's which. Uh, the stern is at the back and uh, the bow is at the front. So we can put on lots of different bows and I'll take a look at pretty much all the parts. Although there are a lot of parts, some of them I guess just not super important but you'll find by yourself. Um, the nice, uh, there's also a stern that is for helicopters, although I don't think that's really big enough for a helicopter, but you know, it looks nice. So, yeah. Um, but there's lots of cool things you can put at the front of your boat. So you can have the normal one, you can have this nice little thing that holds crew and has some stairs and you can mount something on the various things. Oh, the coolest thing is the row row boat. I don't, I don't know why it's called that, but it's a ramp. It's a freaking ramp, so you can lower it and drive your vehicle off, maybe if you're a storm in a beach, or if you're delivering some cargo or something. Um, and all of these have attachment points, so say it was a cargo ship, you could just grab some uh, some of these, Let's yeah, say it was the holding ore, you could just uh, transport your ore tanks around, um, or put a car on here or something, and then just drive right off. So yeah, very easy to make a really cool boat. Obviously you'll probably want your boat to go forwards, um, so there are engines, um, I think pretty much, well no, there's a bunch of engines, but the main one that I like to use is this kind of propeller engine sort of thing, it just kind of fits quite nicely on this blue bit, is fairly inconspicuous and just kind of takes liquid fuel and intake air, and you probably don't want to put uh, some big ram in <laughs> intake on here because it would look kind of dumb, but luckily it provides you with a cool looking boaty air intake, which you could also put on a... Uh, plane if you want to just look dumb. So yeah, functional boat right there. Um, there are obviously a bunch of cool engines. Uh, you can make kind of steamboats with these sort of, uh, <laughs> these kind of, pa well not steamboats, right, paddle boats with using these little paddles if you can figure out how the hell to attach them, which I can't really, but I, oh yeah, yeah, just like that. Uh, maybe you just have to not be at parts. Um, oh, they kind of attach radially? I don't know. But yeah, you, you get the idea, and you can also put on... Oh yeah, this is a stern! I actually didn't notice this, but yeah, you could just put on a proper paddle stern. Um, probably not too battleshipy, but I'm sure someone will incorporate that into collaborative warfare. Um, but yeah, and then it's pretty easy just to just to send them out onto the, uh, onto the ocean. So I will do that with the aid of Hyper Edit, because obviously you can just attach some wheels and things, but I'm trying to make a video here. Um, so yeah, uh, let's just throw this, yeah, sure, we'll call it oh, Untitled Spacecraft, because it isn't the, oh, there's no people in it. Oh, Jeb, get in the freaking boat. Yeah, no, it's obviously a spacecraft. I should really send this to space. I do have hyper edit, so I could maybe send it to, ooh, send it to Lathe. I, I set forth a challenge to you aspiring chaos peers, send this boat to Lathe. Um, alright, what's hyper edit? Okay, so ship lander already set up because I planned. I actually just failed at making a submarine, but I will go through the submarine parts. And the new water model makes it kind of nice and much easier than it usually would be, but um, this is obviously made for it. This these this mod's actually technically still in 1.0.4, uh, so bear that in mind, but it still works, so don't send me a million comments being like, but it, it it's not updated because it works. Look how look how working it is. Uh, but yeah, and it'll just scoot along, probably much faster than it could have before. Um, I haven't really tried it in the old version. But yeah, 
and it's just scooting along. And there's a ton more parts I'll go through in a little bit, but yeah, you can see. 30 meters a second. I think this can quite easily get up to like um, 100 miles an hour, about 40 meters per second. And then yeah, and then you could turn around and put down your put down your thing and drive right off. A Jeb could just get out and kind of fall over. Don't know why I thought he'd be able to stand up. That doesn't really seem like something he could do. All right, <laughs> let's go look at some more stuff. Um, there is, of course, the runway thing. Yes, you can indeed make yourself an aircraft carrier, which I kind of attempted to and failed at. So let's... I think the best way to do it, if you're trying to build an aircraft carrier, is just to build a normal boat like this, <laughs> rather than just building a runway and putting it in the ocean. So you build a boat like this, uh, and then you go to structural, probably? And then you can just grab some of this kind of aircraft carrier deck. Um, and I think, oh, oh yeah, clips right on. Oh, I think it is made for it, because I, oh, that's nice. Oh, that is actually really good. And then, oh, that's, yeah. Uh, <laughs> if I, then I can just copy it. Where's my root part? There, so if I do this. All right, all right, let's try and just speed build an aircraft carrier. Get rid of all this, and then I can just double it up. Oh, and if you are relatively new to the game, um, Alt and Click copies the parts you're holding, so you can do this sort of thing very easily. And there you go, now you've got yourself a runway. I'm not going to try and land on it again, because I spent about 25 minutes trying to do that the other day. But yeah, and then there's actually a bridge that goes right with this. The, um, this. Oh, I guess this should just be removed, and then you take this there, and, oh, fuck. <laughs> I'm terrible at building. Uh, oh, come on, just attach. Attach. I'm trying to do a thing, guys. I don't have... I'm pretty busy, game. <laughs> attach, please. Just... I, I'm trying to... Just, so, just attach to the node. Just be on the node. How can you not... How are you so stupid? There we go. And yeah, there you go. Got yourself an aircraft carrier. And you can put a bunch more stuff around it to make it look less kind of dumb. But... Yeah, there's also um, a yak superstructure. Oh yeah, a yak, yak, a yacht. You could build yourself a nice looking yacht if you so desired. Uh, I'm not entirely sure what that is. I think that's more for a paddle boat. <laughs> I, I, there's a lot of parts. I haven't had a chance to probably look through all of them. But there are some cool things you can add. Um, things like buoyancy blisters, just to make your buoyancy a little easier. If you're swaying too much, they'll kind of arrest that a little bit. A rudder, which I should really have on my boat. I mean, that's just bad boat form, to not have a rudder. Um, I mean, that's just boat etiquette. You know? You know what I'm saying? Alright, there we go. Now we've got a rudder. Now we're, now we're thinking on the brains. Um, there's something, one very specific thing I really like. Uh, oh yes, the gangway, which looks kind of dumb when it's folded up. But... Say you want to get your kerbals on, you just lower it down, and then your kerbals can walk right on. Uh, you can get your ship spotlights if you want spotlights. There's tons of like all these little nice um, bits. I'm just trying to think if there's anything specific I've really missed out uh, before I move on to submarines. I don't think so. I mean, it's just a matter of looking through it. I mean, you've got like lots of these little bits which are just kind of not super worth mentioning, but would be really useful, I'm sure. Uh, those are all submarine parts. Paddle wheel stuff. Oh, that's actually for uh, building up your paddle wheel structure. That is cool. Um, that's just structural pylons. Yeah, okay. Alright, so, submarines. How would you build a submarine? Um, I don't know how to actually build a submarine that works, but I will just show you the parts. Uh, so, you have to start with, I guess, a structural part, I guess? Because the game hates me. So, I guess we'll just start with the hull. It's massive, by the way. If you think of the really big new, well, not the new plane parts, but you know, like the Mark III cockpit. It's, it's a pretty big submarine. Uh, and there's tons of cool little structural bits, and you'll probably, like me, spend ages thinking, where the hell are the fuel tanks? There aren't any. The submarine engines are all powered by um, power stuff. Uh, what is it? A diesel generator. Because apparently we're not having nuclear submarines, which is lame. Um... Yeah, water compressor, that's not what I want. Uh, where is it? Where's the freaking diesel thing that, that burns diesel? I guess it might be in engines? I mean, that's technically it. Yeah, here we go. Diesel generator. Uh, it just burns liquid fuel, turns it into uh, freaking 
freaking freaking electricity so that you can feed it into your engine. Uh, so if we just throw together the rest of the submarine, post haste, we got the stern, nice long bit of stern. It's kind of got this wood motif on the front, which I think is kind of weird. You got a nice, an awesome looking cargo bay. I'll like open up all the parts in a little bit. Uh, mm, uh, hull, I guess, just crew quarters, and then the front, the front of the submarine. That's its technical name, the front. Uh, and then, of course, you will probably need. Ooh, there's also a big control section. I think this is just SES for submarines, which would be very useful to have. So we'll just throw that on there, um, and then submarine. There we go. The canning tower. Canning tower. What the what the dickens? And yeah, there you go. Got yourself a submarine. So you, well, you'll also need an engine. The engines are just here. You got the. Uh, Electric engine. That's how I figured out it was the diesel generator that was needed. Ooh, I've reached the end of the VAB, the space plane hangar, even. Um, and yeah, what am I missing? Oh, there's also specific submarine wings. There's t so many parts, it's just so easy to forget unless I actually scripted this. Um, that's my thinking noise. It is somewhere. I think it might actually be in utility because mod developers are bad people. Um, ooh, yeah. Except, of course, Harpooner, because there's a heavy chance I'll be speaking to him. <laughs> uh, also, he develops nukes, which is awesome. For KSB, not like, it's not like actually like, well, I don't really know, I don't know much about uh, our beloved Harpooner. He might very well be Richard Feynman. There we go, and you got you, you got your stabilization, and then you put some more at the front if you so desire, and you got yourself a submarine, and all the submarine parts do stuff, so you can like open up the front, and you can toggle something. I don't really know; it's really hard to say. <laughs> um, and you can raise the railings, and these cargo bays open at the sides, and oh yeah, there's like a ton of other crap you can put on here, like um, submarine lights, which I won't bother because they're just lights. Uh, what am I looking for? The heli, he hello deck. Again, too small for an actual helicopter, but still a nice thought. And yeah, so I could put this out onto the, okay, yeah, this is actually quite difficult because I will need a Kerbal, and there's so much space in these crew quarters. Uh, so, launch. There is control. You're a bastard. Oh, that's a cargo bay. You can put people in the cargo bay? Oh, that's cool. I honestly didn't know that. Uh, where is the canning tower? We'll just have Jeb in there by himself. Yeah. Fuck off. Is there no remote control? Vessel has no remote Fuck you. Uh, in the bow, maybe? Just put someone everywhere. Right. Does it take two to operate? Because that's a heavy chance. Uh. No, you... <laughs> no, oh, just put him in freaking cannon tower. All right, we good? Fuck off! I don't care. It's fine. I'm sure it'll work out. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Anyway, now that the submarine won't move, we also have to very quickly turn on hack gravity to stop it breaking on the runway. Hack. Nice. Mad hack. Oh fuck! I'll revert to launch. Yeah, this is kind of. Oh fuck! Oh well. Click the wrong button. This is falling apart. Shut up, it is controllable. I hate you. <laughs> Ugh, stupid submarines. I also don't exactly... The problem with submarines is what I will get onto uh, in a second. Okay, it just needs to... Oh yeah, I can't turn SAS on, obviously. Uh, oh fuck. Okay, all right, now I need to unhack gravity so I can use hyperedit to land this. Ship lander, land. There we go. See how easy that was? All right, so I was under the impression that this was a control place. Apparently there's just no crew on board at all. But I have so many crew. I put in like a billion of the... Okay, well, I that might just be a 1.05 quirk. Although it seems to work with every other part. Now, main problem being, um, I can't... Oh yeah, well I guess I couldn't do that anyway. I can't actually change any of the... Um, 
amount of torque. Oh, and of course I can't control it. And not the amount of torque, the amount of buoyancy. So you can only change that in the space plane hangar, so then it just kind of sinks and can't surface. I'm not entirely sure what that's about, but yeah, we've got a submarine. I can't really sink it right now. I don't really know how that works. Also, apparently there's no crew on board, even though I put, like, a shit ton of crew on board. Uh, um, but yeah. So, this is the maritime pack. The submarines, I kind of feel like they're a little dodgy right now. I mean, I can't, like, change their buoyancy, so I can't bring them down and raise them up. Um, also, they're being weird with crew. I don't know, but the boat parts all work. So yeah, that is the mod pack. I hope this has been just relatively informative and not too boring. And yeah, I hope you'll check it out. The links are in the description. I uh, hope you've enjoyed this. I will see you next time. Mm -hmm.